Hi, this is Deepak and in this quick video, I'll talk about Azure Management Group, which is part of Azure Governance. Now, if you have got multiple Azure subscription and if you want to manage them, all of those subscription in a consistent way. So, for example, if you want to apply a set of Azure policies and role based access control across all of your subscription. So the best way is to keep them in a management group. Now, if you look at this picture, we can see we have got a root management group and then under that management group, we can create, you know, multiple management group. If required, we can create another management group, which is a child of this management group. So this could be a hierarchical structure, which can go up to six level deep. And you can create these management group based on your business unit and department. If required, you can just create one management group and place all of your Azure subscriptions within it. And these subscription could be a variety of subscriptions. It could be MSTN, it could be your enterprise agreement subscriptions, or it could be the CSP subscription. The whole idea of management group is to apply a consistent set of policies across all of your subscription. Now with this, let's quick, you know, have a quick look. How do we configure these management group? Now I will go to my Azure portal and I will look at my management group. Now I have already created a management group, so I can do it by clicking on add management group and I can create new, maybe I'll give MG2 and MG2, same ID as well as display name. And while it's getting created, I will look at my MG1 management group. So I'll click on this and you could see it shows the subscriptions which I have got in my environment. So I've got two Azure subscription. Now, if I need to look at uh, more about this management group, I can click on details. And once I click on details, it gives me the information about the role based access control, which I can apply on this management group. And it also gives me the option to apply Azure policies, which will again be applied and trickle down to each and every subscription, which are part of this management group. If I want, I can move this management group and I can place it under, uh, you know, any management group, which means this management group would become child of, you know, that management group. So you can create a hierarchical structure. And again, it depends upon how deep do you want to go with creating multiple management groups. Um, because if you've got only, you know, handful, like, you know, four or five subscriptions, you might not want to have multiple management group. You might want to keep them in one or two management group. Example could be, you might have a set of policies for dev and test environment. Maybe you have a management group for that and you've got a production environment. You may have another management group for that. And these two set of policies could be different and can be applied on two different management group. The whole idea and benefit of having management group is to apply as your policies as well as role based access control in a consistent fashion. Now, if you talk about role based access control, how does it help? So let's say if I want to create a set of admin, which should always be there in all of my subscription. So what I'll do is I will create that admin and apply it on my root management uh, group. And in that case, that admin would trickle down and be an admin in each and every subscription, you know, which are part of my, uh, you know, environment and part of my management group. So this is how it looks like. Now I will just quickly go back and if I click on details and you can see I can add subscription. I only have two subscriptions which I've added, but if you have got like more than uh, two or three, you can simply add those subscriptions like that. So I hope this video is useful. Um, I will be adding more videos around, um, you know, as your governance around resource graph policies and blueprints. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.